Right, so this evening it's our last night in Tenerife and we are off to uh, Plan as Americas. We're going to find ourselves somewhere to eat. Um, so just getting ready and then we'll be off. And I'll go and get the car and we'll get all the kids in. I think we're all going to go in the same car probably. And um, yeah, we'll get down there and uh, see where we go. So one really cool thing about the evenings in Tenerife. Silence. Nice. So, another really cool thing is when I'm going to get the car in the evenings and I'm looking up the mountain. So, some would think, oh, there's bad weather coming in, but it's not. It's just the clouds on the mountain. Let's take a look at this. So you can see all the All the clouds coming in there so if you live up there you're literally gonna have it it's gonna be like you're in the fog and then obviously if you're above it then it will be blue but I just think it's really cool I just think imagine living there and uh, you're literally in the clouds and it's just foggy every evening at a certain time must be interesting but yeah just thought I'd share that so now I'm in the car park there's actually a much better view I'll show you that breathing a bit heavier after coming up that hill <laughs> see that bit looks really cool It must be interesting to live in one of those houses up there or in them little villages because there are bits higher than that as well so as you might have guessed while we've been here in Tenerife we did rent a car so this is the car that we got I'll quickly show you so we wanted something big that we could get the whole family in so this is what we got um, it's meant to be a seven seater but it is actually quite small it's brand new um, so it's done the job um, I and mean, it was meant to be automatic as well but it wasn't so it's a bit of a letdown but it's okay but they give you these cars um, and they've all got tiny little engines so they could struggle up the hills which is quite funny um, just to unlock it there you go Yeah, it's all quite modern inside, quite nice. Um, we got this with Auto Reason. Um, I always find Auto Reason to be the most reasonable, especially out in the Canaries. We always use them. Um, the line's always really quick. You, the pre-checking um, is quite effective, so you literally just go up and sign your contract. They give you the keys to the car. You walk out across the airport and you get your car in the car park um yeah it's, it's always been quite reasonable um a lot of other companies charge a few hundred pounds at least more um but yeah as you can see it's quite a new car so we've got an isa fix as well um that was 45 pound extra um i think i paid 450 pound or around about 450 pounds uh for two weeks so that's not bad um, and the fuel's really cheap out here as well. So it's like, I think it's like one, one power or one euro thirty for or, or thereabouts for petrol, or one twenty in some places, one twenty five. Um, and then diesel is around one thirty five to one forty, depending on what station you go to. But yeah, um, so that's the car. Anyway, I better go and get them. Otherwise, I'm going to get the ump and wonder where I am. <laughs> Right, we've arrived on the Golden Mile. Um, we always park literally just underneath um, the main shopping centre in the middle, opposite the Hard Rock. Obviously, you've got Harry's Bar just there, and then the Water Fountain Show, or the Water Fountain. But yeah, this is pretty cool. And obviously, at night it lights up and it looks pretty good. It's starting to get busy now. 
hard rock just over there. There's Mrs. Payne. Payne. <laughs> Is that good, Charlie? <laughs> Jack, what do you think of them fountains? They're good, aren't they? There's a restaurant. Oh. Well. Hard rock. Hard rock. Oh. There you go. You got one here. It's called literally. It's called flower. An Italian one. In Italian. Fleur. There you go. No, it's chilling. You alright, Charlie boy? No. We found ourselves a Zara. Look at that. Zara. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, oh, oh. And look, there's a shopping centre over there. Oh, no, how did that happen? <laughs> all right so now walking about in the evening starting to see the trees light up exactly sound uh, nice is it ganges ganges tandoori river in the world yeah ganges tandoori yeah see this here this is a public pool we saw this earlier it's got like a, a net on it now but it's um it's a public swimming pool i think Yeah, you can see it's through there. Look at the friends bar. Yeah. Oh, is it Indian? No, some of it is. Yeah. Right, we're in a restaurant now. Um, we're in a seafood restaurant, but it also does lots of other different bits and pieces. Right on the beach as well, as you can see just there. You can see the sea, so we've got lovely views. It's called La Barraca, so B-A-R-C-A. I'm not sure on that one, but yeah, it looks really nice. Okay, so we've stopped in a fish restaurant. Let's take a look. Ah, very cool, look. Look at the size of these lobsters. Look, Jack. Massive, huh? How good's that? Fish. <laughs> oh, look at all the fish as well. Oh, lots of fish, huh, Charlie? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, massive fish, huh? My book. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got a pizza, kids' pizza, chicken nuggets and chips for Jack. Watch this. Watch this. All right, slowly. That do. That do. That do, yeah. Okay, so I've got a carbonara and I've got some canary and potatoes. I've got some garlic bread with cheese. We've got a beef lasagna. Oh. And Sophie got a pizza for herself as well. Yeah. Have you tried any yet? I've tried any. Yeah, no, we're just cutting it. Um, I tried a bit of um, Charlie's pizza and it was nice. All right, so we're all finished there. It was nice. So let me just show you the restaurant. So that's the restaurant that we went to. It was nice. Definitely would go there again. It was um it was only 106 euros for the whole build, including our drinks. We did only all have one each, one drink each. Um, but we're all full. We're all happy. So yeah, nice got meal. Takeaway pizza. And so has got a takeaway pizza because <laughs> as you know, so can't really eat that much. Um, I've taken away half and one slice. You done really well, didn't I did, you? Yeah. For you, definitely. But yeah, so now we're gonna uh, go walk down the main strip again, and get the boys an ice cream on the way back to the car, and uh, yeah, and that'll be us for the evening. Yeah. Right. So now let's see if we're uh, well, we're at one end, as you can see, of the Golden Mile. Let's see if we can show you why it's called the Golden Mile. Because it's got the, the lights, maybe? Is that it? Because it's all like golden? Maybe that's it. 
I don't know, let me know. Why do they call it the Golden Mile? So here we go at night, it's uh, a lot more lively at night time than it is during the daytime. Um, yeah, quite a bit of a, a party atmosphere as well, I'd say. That's a hard rock on the left down there coming up. It does look good at night, the old hard rock, doesn't it? Yeah. It's Tom Jones, isn't it? Just uh, across the road over there. Oh, sorry, Karen. <laughs> yeah. There's Jack just getting his uh, favourite ice cream from this restaurant. He loves the blue ice cream. I don't know why. I think it's just because it's his favourite colour. Um, and this is the place we're at. And this is the street. like looky looky heaven down here there's just loads of them and I really don't understand why people buy off them if I'm honest it doesn't make sense to me but there we go 